Hi, good evening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I know you all are going through a lot, trying uh, this this phase of admission, uh, a lot of uh, anxieties, questions. We are here with you in this entire procedure in your application to help you and guide you in the best manner possible. If you have any query at any time, feel free to reach us on our Instagram page at the rate aims dot asu a i m s dot asu. And I extend my gratitude to all the volunteers of AIMS, of Association of International Medical Students, from Admission Department and PR Department, who are there for the students, answering their queries and helping them along with their studies. Since this is the exam time, and that's the reason uh, you notice the delay in our videos, which I apologize for. Let's proceed forward. Uh, today's agenda is that we discuss the updates, the changes from the ministry in the admission procedure this year, and we will be guiding you. On how to fill the online application form, inshallah. First, uh, the first and foremost thing, Wafidin has informed us. The ministry has informed us that the fees of five universities, Ain Shams University, Cairo University, Alexandria University, Mansoura University, and Asyut University, the fees of these five university. This is applied for the new students who are taking admission in this year, 2023 and 24. Uh, next thing, during your application, as you have watched in our last video, in the previous video, we mentioned the uh, the payments and everything. This year, things have changed a lot. If you, uh, most of you have filled the online application already, you must be noticing that the first payment that you are supposed to make, it is 170 USD now. And the second payment, after you receive the nomination letter, Tarshi Al Mabdai, uh, this initial nomination letter requires uh, it. It has the statement. I can get, it clearly mentions that you have to pay uh, 170 USD plus 1500 dollars. This 1500 dollars. Let me clarify. Uh, in in the previous video, you must have watched that I mentioned in the first semester in your university, you are supposed to pay. $3,000 semester fees plus $1,500, which was making the first semester fee as $4,500. So instead of paying in the university later on, that $1,500 has been taken, has been changed to be taken while you apply for admission. So in the second step of uh, the admission procedure and the second payment, you are supposed to pay $1,500. That $1,500 comes from the fees which was previously taken during the first semester fee. Thirdly, it mentions about latency fee. Now, what is the latency fee? If you have gap years, like for example, you pass your 12th standard or higher secondary in 2000, um, 2020, so 2021, 2022, and 2023. So if you have gap years like these, between your higher secondary and the time when you apply for admission, each year, they, Wafidin, the ministry is charging 300 USD this year. So if you have two gap years, then you will be charged 600 USD. If you have three gap years, then you will be charged 900 USD this way. Now, very important point here. After you are issued nomination letter, you are supposed to make the second payment within 14 days the most the four most important thing here if you do not pay within 14 days then they will cancel your nomination letter and you will have to reapply and getting university uh, getting admission in ayn shams and cairo is very difficult if you are already getting one if you have nomination letter of these universities then please make sure that you don't lose it that you complete your second payment within 14 days and let me specify here there are two modes to make this payment first you can make this payment online to your portal. You can enter the debit card detail, your card details and pay online directly. And second method is anyone who is in Egypt, they can pay through the banks in Egypt. But do not make the payment from the bank in your country. If you make payment, if you submit the payment on the name of Wafidin's account, this payment takes three weeks to complete and you will not be able to complete your payment within 14 days and you might lose your admission. And for those who have already paid this way, they have been informed by Wafidin that they are supposed to make the payment in any other way. And for the refund of this amount, you are supposed to contact Wafidin after three weeks 
and you have to visit the uh, office in necessity you can uh, get back your payment they will give you in pounds in cash from wafidin's account in uh, in necessity okay so we talked about uh, the university fee change we spoke about uh, the on, the payments while while doing your online application now let's move to the next part what after you have made the second payment what are you supposed to do you are supposed to have your mark sheets that you uploaded online uh, that the secondary and a higher secondary mark sheet you are supposed to get them attested in your country by ministry of external affair <clears throat> and also from egyptian embassy in your country and these documents are supposed to be submitted in the university this is a major change this year although the nomination letter mentions the address of wafidin in necessity but that is not the place where you will be submitting the documents these documents will be submitted in your respective university whichever you are assigned whichever you get admission into in ain shams university they will be start they will be starting to accept the documents from 31st july and this will go on for months uh, so next step for you is to get your documents attested and get ready to travel to egypt along with your documents we are expecting that the university will be beginning from 30 30th of uh, august sorry 30th of september this is the latest update update we have uh, we got this today itself from uh, on the official uh, facebook page of the ministry of higher education they have mentioned that the university this year will be beginning from 30th of september now after, now let's talk about the documents that you have to submit in the university first you re, you require a passport copy your passport copy you require to have your 10th and 12th secondary and higher secondary mark sheet attested attested and stamped by egyptian embassy you also require to submit your birth certificate because this time you have uploaded birth certificate on the website last year it was not required to be uploaded this birth certificate although does not require to be attested this is a good thing you don't require to attest the birth certificate only 10th and 12th secondary and higher secondary mark sheets are supposed to be attested also the payment that you made uh, if you, may, you if you have paid online or if you have paid offline in the bank in egypt you require to attach a receipt of this if you paid online then a screenshot from the or bank statement mentioning the where the account of wafidin is visible this needs to be attached alongside and nomination letter so these five things i'll repeat again you have to submit these five things in the university hard copy what are they your passport copy your nomination letter uh, the proof of payment your mark sheets attested secondary and higher secondary mark sheet attested your uh, receipt of payment and and six photographs sorry so these are the six things that you require to submit together in the university uh, now let's if for example let's talk about the transfer there are some students who have got for example cairo university asyut university they want to transfer to ain shams some have got ain shams and they transfer to another university however here let me tell you getting the transfer to ain shams and cairo will be difficult we can't assure it but i'll tell you the procedure the procedure is that when you are issued the nomination letter of the university that you don't want you are supposed to make the second payment okay first payment you already made you got nomination letter now you are supposed to make the second payment and now you are supposed to wait you will not be submitting the documents in the university that you don't desire the wafidin will open the portal for transfer and then you have to reapply for transfer here you will be requiring to pay around 150 to 170 usd 150 to 170 dollars for the transfer after the, and after that you will be issued a fresh nomination letter of the university that you desire once they do that then you will travel to your respective university and submit your documents okay now uh, for traveling to egypt you are supposed to be uh, you will not be getting student visa this early in order to get student visa you are supposed to have ifada if ada is issued from the university after first semester payment is made so and that means after you have traveled you have submitted your documents that it takes a lot of time and you do not want to wait you do not want to lose your months so you are supposed to travel on tourist visa to egypt and i and 
just for a suggestion since university is now beginning from 30th of september uh, keep in mind that you travel uh, around until 15th of september so that you can come a bit early and settle down here uh, that's all for today and now let's we will be the second part of the video now we will be explaining you how to fill the online application form thank you so much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah hi good evening assalamu alaikum let's move to the next part of today's video that is online form filling on the screen you can see uh, this is the website where you apply for admission uh, this is government's website ministry's website uh, by the name admission.studyinegypt.gov.eg uh, first first thing that you do is register yourself for online application by clicking here on the register you have to enter your first name last name and full name uh, combining first and last name for some students who don't use the last name for example in india some parts they, they don't have a last name they don't use then put your father's name in, in the place of last name you can't leave it empty uh, the name should be according to your passport because these names it is a very crucial thing because whatever name you enter here that will be used in your application that will be there on your ifada on your admission letter and that name will be there in the university's record it is difficult to change it is not difficult as in you can change the name later but why to make the procedure hectic when you can make it simpler uh, you enter email id and here you select your nationality and you choose a pass password this password will be used to access your application and then you click uh, on register now you have been registered you will get an email from Wafidin and let's move to the next stage now okay so now let's move to the next part which is uh, signing in uh, so after you have logged you have already registered now you have to come here enter your email and password and you can simply log in uh, so you click on sign in and and here you are logged in you have to keep certain things in mind while you are filling the online application on this screen as you can see you choose higher education services and then the next screen here you will be yeah so here our application will be submitted through admission higher education okay in the later stages when we require to amend or when we require to transfer then we will explore these options uh, which are there but for now while you are applying you have to click on admission higher education and here you will be entering your data in the next steps so when you enter when you log in when you sign in you will find this uh, page in front of you where you will be seeing your details that you entered earlier and the rest options will open these these are your basic details and uh, i am sure you will not find any difficulty while doing this your nationality your birth country your gender your date of birth your religion and then the passport number where passport was issued and uh, these details now you can see some options are marked as important mandatory by the uh, red star and other options are not mandatory you have to enter the first degree relatives that is your parent your father and your mother's details uh, and you don't require uh, this is not compulsory you don't have to enter any egyptian acquaintances now moving to the next you, you click on continue the next page will open so here this is the most important section to focus on here you select a candidacy type certificate country now this we are going to talk about the mark sheet about uh, the form filling so first option that you have here certificate from inside egypt non egyptian mother and non egyptian certificate for international students those who have completed their studies abroad they will be choosing this option non egyptian mother and non egyptian certificate and then you select certificate country now see this is important part you will not there are some students who study from a board like for example a student has completed his or her studies from for example riyadh okay a student completed his or her studies from riyadh but they studied from cambridge universities igcse board o levels and a levels so they have studied from uk curriculum england board so they will not select riyadh here 
they are supposed to select united kingdom this is an important part to keep in mind you select the certificate country according to the certificate of according to your mark sheets according to your secondary and higher secondary education okay then on in certificate type you will choose the certificate type the options will be open according to what you choose in the certificate country and then you will have certificate names there might be some issues some confusion that you have here if you have any confusion in at this stage you can head on to our instagram account at the rate aims.asu and inshallah we will be answering your queries then uh, certificate year and specialization in specialization they will give you three options literary scientific study choose scientific study if you are going to study medicine okay this was the second stage we'll move to the next stage now now let's move to the third stage after you have entered your details here your candidacy type certificate country certificate type certificate name certificate year and specialization as i mentioned it should be scientific science okay then your options will open to enter your marks uh, the options that i have selected here are random so don't go according to the uh, according to this depending upon your board uh, different names will be seen according to your board like for example for uh, her for this application o level and as level is being shown uh, now it depends some countries or some certificate types they will be having in percentages and some will be having in grades after the most important part here is that wafirin wants eight subjects from you these eight subjects should have minimum 50% marks from secondary and higher secondary you can choose any subject but physics chemistry biology maths english is must they should be there and the other subjects to complete it eight now they are so much flexible that they allow you to choose either from secondary or higher secondary wherever you have higher marks for example english you have appeared in secondary also you have appeared in higher secondary also so wherever you are scoring higher marks you can select easily uh, they don't mind it so after you have selected your subjects uh, according to the names as it is as it comes in the display after you have selected them uh, then you click on continue and like for example i am adding a subject here biology factor i selected a star and i added it after you have entered your results your your, your details then uh, we will move to the next option we click on continue and here the options for selecting universities open i think to keep in mind here you will see how much percentage you are getting for for this student she is uh, the student is getting 95.56 it needs to be 75% or more to get into ain shams university cairo university alexandria university mansoura university and asyut university these five universities require minimum 75% and the fees of these five universities is as for other universities they require 70% i am talking about medicine okay for other fields for other faculties the the percentage requirement is lesser after you after entering your desires will open now choose the desires that you want you click on add desire and you select the university faculty of medicine whichever you want and then you click on add and they will get added and you can move your desires according to the needs that you have or your priority that you have this is an important stage don't make a mistake here for those uh, who are not who have not filled the form yet you might not be shown the option of me medicine of uh, cairo or ain shams because uh, you know the admissions close very soon for these universities so just check in your application if it is still open or not for many it is not okay so after you have uh, up, you have entered your marks and everything the next stage is uploading your attachments in attachment as you can see you will be uploading uh, your passport passport copy your certificates the mark sheets your photograph and aptitude test you don't require it's not necessary these attachments will be added and birth certificate okay after you have attached them the next stage is of payment now for the payment as i that's as we have already mentioned in the beginning that prefer to make a payment online or if someone you have someone in egypt then they can pay in egyptian bank there is no other option don't pay in your country's bank otherwise you will lose because uh, otherwise this, there will be a difficulty although that is for the next stage but even now keep in mind just make sure that you go forward with this payment this is the first stage payment you will be paying 170 dollars here after this payment is done 
you will after this payment has been done see for the student the student has paid 171.95 usd then you you if now they review now they review your application they check through your marks that you have entered if there is any any change that they want then they issue a modify request and they mention what is the issue like for example the student ar raja arfaq as sura as shakhsiya bi shakl wazeh basira so here they are saying that you have to um, attach a photo which is uh, clear like whatever change with your application photo or your marks if you enter them wrong and they can't accept if the marks are low all these changes and updates come as modify request in front of you after you have made these modifications then you again click on submit and then you have submitted then they review your form again they go through all the details and this stage can be multiple times or it can be at once it can be multiple times modifications keep coming and after they have reviewed and they are satisfied then then you get accepted for see for this student accepted from manager this means that this student completed the form filling they made the first payment and their application got accepted and now the student has got the initial nomination letter tarshi al mabdi this tarshi al mabdi states that they the student is supposed to make second payment which as you mentioned in the beginning has to be done within 14 days of this date for this student 47 2023 was when the student was accepted they are supposed to make and complete the second payment within 14 days of this after you have made the second payment and here the most important part make payment online by entering your card detail this way or in egypt in egyptian bank there is no other way okay because you have to complete this within 14 days and after you have finished this payment the student paid 16 71.95 usd then they accept the payment and this request under you review converts into payment completed i am showing you in someone else account okay so now on your screen you can see this student they made the payment the payment got completed and then after that this student got Uh, remind uh, the modifications and changes during the payment they were supposed to upload the the, the thing i mentioned you have to make payment either online or through the bank in egypt this student had made the payment through a bank in their own country and that's why they were told to you know to change they were told to make the payment again and then the student paid the payment and then uploaded the payment receipt the invoice number and uh after it was done they got on their website payment completed hurray our application has been submitted and we have made the second payment now this student's part is done khalas and they are supposed to rest now the next stage after your online application completes at this point you are supposed to get your mark sheets the mark sheets that you uploaded on the website attested and after attesting them you have to travel to egypt and submit these mark sheets in your university and then your your application procedure will be finished and after you have traveled that section is post travel so the post travel thing that you are supposed to be doing we will shoot and cover you when the first batch or any student arrives so that we can show you step by step where are where you are supposed to go where you will be making payment or where you will be submitting documents each and everything inshallah will be covered in our next youtube video so tune in and we are here with you whatever question you have feel free to to go to our instagram page and ask question we are doing our best we have our exams on going and i thank once again to all the volunteers who are contributing to this work we together will uh, do a great work inshallah assalam alaikum bye take care